the three-point shot, how, was that a big part of your game in high school? Like when you got the ball the other night, you didn't hesitate. You didn't. Yeah, it was kind of a big part of my game since in high school. Like I would say since I started playing basketball, I wanted to be like a good shooter and work on my game a little bit. So it was not like something that surprised me. Okay. And I knew I was going to shoot that ball also. So it was kind of like normal. Did it feel good? Did you, when you shot it, you thought it was going to go? Good. What was it like going to Creighton? Hostile atmosphere, top 10 team. What was it like to be out there on the floor for that game? I mean, it was a big game. It was my first in road game, so it was a big experience. We lost the game, but like we just have to learn from it and keep building. Did you feel like How much did that help you to play in an environment like that? I was not really, I was, I was not really nervous or anything like that. I was just excited to play because I know it was sold out and I know get loud and also just like relax and play. Yeah. Crane was saying you speak multiple languages. How how many do you speak? So I speak five languages. Yeah, yeah. I speak Bambara, that's my native language, and Suenke also, that's Southern African language. Then I speak French, English, and Spanish. How, how, like, how did you learn all those languages? Or was it hard? Or? So those, uh, the two African languages are I was, I was growing up in Africa, so those were easy. And French also, because that's like, when you go to school over there, they study French and English. When I came to America, Spanish was like, I was in Spain for four years, so that's how I learned Spanish. Would you say you're fluent in all five? I am. Okay. Yeah. Is it weird speaking strictly English now? It's not really weird, but like, sometimes I just get confused, like when somebody speaks to me, on my mind, I'll be like, let me just translate that which language. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens, but like, it's not really different. Has that made it difficult? Is there, I, I, I suppose, is there any sort of like, do you feel like there's a language barrier sometimes when you're, especially when you're playing basketball? Mm, no, I don't really, I don't really think so. Okay. Just to play whatever the coach say, try to get it like as quickly as you can and just react. How nice has it been able to get you know minutes with the other freshman year? It's not just you. It's not just you know Barack or Owen. Every, all of you guys are playing together. Does that really kind of help you guys you know progress together when you get to play together? Yeah, because like most of the time we just play on the same team. Like here during the practice, we like we had that chemistry already. So whenever we get into the game, it's you know, kind of like practice. So it just come naturally. Yeah. What uh, what was your recruiting process? So my recruiting process, I got recruited like pretty late because like I was in Spain when I moved to America, like I didn't have any division one school, so I have to like keep working on it. So during my senior year in high school, then like I started getting called from school, so it was kind of hard. Then I ended up coming to Iowa. I took a couple of visits, but like Iowa was the best choice. Yeah. What, like what drew you to Iowa? Like why did you decide to come down? So when I took when I took my visit, like I spoke with Frank. So like I uh, I watched the practice and I felt like it was just the best fit for me to come here. And also I knew like there were like a couple guys who were leaving. So I said this might be a good spot for me. Well, at what point in your life did you know or at least think that basketball was um, the path you wanted to go down? Uh, I would say probably five years ago, yeah, because I used to play soccer as a kid, and like when I started growing up, like I started getting taller, I said, <laughs> soccer is not a sport that like I can't do anything about it, because I started getting slower and stuff, so I said, why well, don't just, I focus on basketball, so that's how like I really start getting time to play basketball. At, at what point like did you realize <coughs> How athletic you were like was there a dunk you had that you kind of realized like what you could do with your athleticism i feel like just kind of like since i was young because like since i was a kid i used to play sports so it was just like some natural thing and all my family like my brother my sister they all play sports so we've seen like a family thing. some of your uh swats and transition in particular is that something that you've kind of had 
I don't know, in your bag since you first started playing basketball? Something yeah, you always I, went I had to? That. That's, that's always a, yeah, I'm going to sell a little bit this, this season, hopefully. Yeah. That, uh, the, what, the chase down you had, I think it was in the exhibition, maybe. What just what all did you see in that play? Yeah. <clears throat> that's, that's like my favorite play every single time that I see some, somebody going to the basket. Like when I'm running behind me, you know, I'm making that basket. So I didn't think about it. <laughs> how, how hard is it to learn? Like, so how did you learn all the languages? Like, did, do you have to study them or? I mean, you have to study, that's one thing. And also like, especially when you go to like a place that nobody speak the same, the same language as you, you gotta figure out the way like, or you're not gonna be able to talk to anybody. So you have to study. Is there another language you wanna learn? How have you adapted to life here in Iowa and in, in the university? And you've had to do a lot of adapting in your life, I'm guessing. Yeah, so it was kind of, I was kind of used to already because, like, it was not the first time for me. And coming here, I know it's going to be like a long journey. So just, I was ready for it. Yeah. That's it. All right, thank you. Thank you.